Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield the Third. How are you, miserable, nasty, mangy fuckers today? How are you, fuckers? And uh, I'm just recording a bit. I had Sunday off. Needed a break, fuckers. Needed a break. And um, I just wanted to tell you a story. I got a story for you. This is a Filipino horror story. A pineapple horror story. When Fino. Filipino love goes bad, bad. Okay, let me tell you the story. Names have been changed to change to protect the guilty. Okay, fuckers. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, fuckers. Who the fuck is that? Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield the Third, and welcome to the program. And uh, I've got some great news. I'd like to introduce someone to the channel. Jason Thomas, a real estate broker in California who is a referral specialist nationwide. He can help buyers and sellers in any of the 50 United States find a quality agent to assist them in the purchase or sale of a home when they decide to escape the Western world. The latest wench has threatened to divorce them or any other, any other time a real estate professional is needed. He'll pair you up with three licensed agents to interview and choose from. His fees come not from you, but the successful agent's firm once a transaction is complete. Please contact him by, him by email or phone, or simply fill out the web form. I'll put the address in the description to this video to state your needs and requests. Jason Thomas. Jason Thomas, a real estate broker in California, helping everyone in the United States. And uh, I gotta say, fuckers, give this young man a try. Jason Thomas, real estate broker, give him a try. And, uh, you know, let's see what we can do. www.jasonthomasbroker.com Archie Luxury, supporting young individuals who want to do well for themselves. Thank you so much, Jason. I'm proud to have you as a sponsor of the Archie Luxury Program. Hey, Filipino story. And uh, this is a true story. Good mate of mine. Good mate of mine. Uh, Heinrich. 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 Heinrich's a Kiwi. And uh, Heinrich's a lovely guy. He used to work for me. He's an IT man. And uh, Heinrich was just... He's a Kiwi, but he's a bit short, okay? He's actually quite a good looking guy. A little bit short, always found it hard to get a lady, always found it hard to get a girlfriend. And I agree, it's been fucking hard. I've had the same problems myself. This is a hard country. Australia is hard. Unless you're wearing a solid gold sub, it's fucking hard. So anyhow, he's a bit of a mo you know, he, he likes to, he likes to, he's been to the Thailand, then he's, another mate of his dragged him to Pineapple Land, the Philippines, and he started going to Cebu a bit. And Heinrich, you know, when you're in Bangkok, you've got these touts on the street flogging uh, high-pressure sales condominiums. You know, these are off the plan, they haven't been built yet, they're flogging condominiums. And when he's in Cebu, he got roped into going to a seminar, investment seminar for tourists in Cebu and he signed up for a um, he signed up for an apartment off the plan and I said to him I said what the fuck are you doing buying an apartment off the plan for starters if you're gonna buy an apartment you'd want to buy one in Bangkok not fucking Cebu uh, if you're gonna buy one in the Philippines you'd buy one in Man Manila and if you're gonna buy an apartment don't worry about off the plan I said they rip you off this is a scam I said, you're much better off to get one already built and chisel the cunts down on price. No, 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 didn't listen to me. The $38,000 apartment blew out to just under $70,000. Okay. Then he keeps going back to Cebu and he, he meets a supposed young, she's quite attractive girl, virgin. She's a virgin, supposed virgin. And he stays with her. Sees her a few times and she doesn't like rubbers. He starts using rubbers with her. She doesn't like rubbers, so they use the good old Catholic withdrawal method. Sure enough, you guessed it, he, she falls pregnant. I haven't spoken to Heinrich in a couple of 
years. Oh, I spoke to him every six months, just, hello, how you going, everything good? But I thought, I, I rang him, and I, I really said, hey, how's things going? And he told me. So, in for Pineapple Land in Cebu, his apartment's been finished, it's been completed. And I said, oh, you must be getting a rent. No, not quite. The fiancé now has moved in with the baby. So you've got fiancé, baby, fiancé's mother, and fiancé's mother has a foster child. So four Filipino fuckers in his apartment. And to make matters worse, he's chipping in half his pay every fortnight. He gets paid fortnightly, and he sends off half because baby formula is expensive. She's going to school to learn English. And he's got to provide food for the mum. And he's been taken for a sucker. He's been taken. And I've kind of, I've just, I've just got, I've just, it's just started to sink in. The shock. He's been taken. He's been sucked dry. He's living in the Western world. He's living in Australia. And he's sending half his pay over there. He's a contractor, so when he takes time off to go and see the baby and his fiance, he um, he's not getting any coin. He's not earning anything. He also um, to get a fiance visa to bring her over to Australia is going to cost him eight and a half thousand dollars, and he still have to be sending money back to the mum. I suspect. I suspect, and. And it's a disaster. It's an absolute disaster. He's basically a slave to this Filipino family. And he doesn't see it. He doesn't fucking see it. What do you say to someone like this? What do you say? That is a very good question. What do you fucking say? And I'd like to hear from the audience. What do I tell him? What do I say to this boy? I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. Tell me what you nasty mangy fuckers think of that. Nice one, Arch. That's a sad tale.